Hi, I'm Wendell Oske. And I'm Lenore Edmond. And we're here in the loading dock at Evil Mad Scientist Laboratories to show you our creation, the giant Digicomp 2. So this is a recreation of the famous 1960s educational computer kit, the Digicomp 2. The original one from 1965 or so it used half-inch marbles and they went through flip-flops and switches as gates. Uh, it was a genuine binary mechanical computer. This is a fairly faithful reproduction of that machine, except at much larger scale. Rather than the uh, half-inch marbles, we're using these eight balls. Um, so this machine can count how many balls we have up here. It can add, subtract, multiply, divide, clear the register, calculate the two's complement, and it's, it's a genuine functioning automatic binary mechanical computer. Um, and uh, so let's do a calculation. What are we going to do? Uh, so we're going to set up a multiplication problem. Uh, let's do three times. We want to do three times thirteen. Three times thirteen. Okay. Okay. So we're going to set three in our multiplier register here. One in the ones place and one in the twos place. So that's three in binary here, and then we want thirteen in the memory register. So we'll put one in the eights place, one in the fours place, and one in the ones place. So eight plus four plus one is thirteen binary. And then over here, this is our seven bit accumulator register. Right now it's got a zero in it. But after our calculation is complete, we should have three times thirteen show up in that accumulator. Um, what actual operation this machine is doing is set by all these different configuration switches up here. So these can be set, for example, here to uh, put it in the count mode or here into the clear mode. What we're going to do right now is we're going to go multiply. And then I pull the start lever. One of the really cool things about this machine is that after it finishes its computation and it gets the answer, it just stops on its own automatically. And the way that it knows to keep it going is that each time a ball gets to the end, it triggers the next one through this mechanism.
there is a one in the twos place, so 38. And there's a one in the ones place, so 39. So this is our digit comp two, and it tells us that three times 13 is 39. Thank you very much.